Hey, yo, what up with you? Koala Sampler just re recently updated their application that will allow you to control external MIDI devices via MIDI out. So in this case, we're going to control the MIDI, the MIDI in Ableton Move via uh, MIDI out of the Koala Sampler. First thing you want to do in setting this up is go into Koala Sampler, go into Settings, go into MIDI, and go on Bluetooth MIDI connect. We're going to connect the Witty Bud Pro. It's not showing up right now, but this is the Bluetooth Bluetooth dongle that will allow you to transmit um, MIDI via Bluetooth. We're going to connect that to the back of the Ableton Move. And now it's showing not it's showing connected now. If it's not showing connected, just hit the connect button and then it should connect hopefully. Next thing on the Koala Sampler app, you want to go to Samples, go to More, go to MIDI Out, and dra drag it to one of the empty pad slots. And hit the Edit button in the Sample ed Edit area. We're going to select Woody Bud Pro Bluetooth. And now if we go to Sequence and go to the keyboard area, make sure you're in sequence in this the keyboard area. Choose that um, that MIDI device. So we are able to trigger the notes inside of the Ableton Move. If you don't, if you're not able to trigger the notes, you might need to go to settings and go to that second uh, button right there and go to MIDI. And make sure it's set to MIDI end only. So. The only downside into uh, currently with the Ableton Move is that only one instrument can be triggered at a time um, on the outside of the Koala Sampler app because it only receives one. MIDI channel, channel at a time, uh, one MIDI channel. So maybe maybe in later firmware, you're able to control more than just one track at a time. But right now, currently, you can only control one instrument. So let's uh, sequence something inside of uh, Koala Sampler. First thing we're gonna do is our drums. That's what I like to start uh, start out with, at least. And chord now if we go back at our instrument go to sequence go to keyboard choose that instrument now one thing I do like to point out is that we have the option of changing the instrument that we're triggering. So say we don't like this sound. We can go also change the scale, change the mode of the of the layout of the sample that we're triggering.
So one thing I like to point out with the Ableton Move currently, it can only either receive MIDI or send MIDI. In this case, it can only receive MIDI. So that when I hit the pads on the Ableton Move, you didn't see any notes recorded because it can only receive MIDI at this current time in the firmware. So yeah, I just like the fact that I'm able to sequence an external instrument and have it be in time with my um, with my um, sequence inside of the Koala Sampler app. And one of the other things I like to point out is you can resample, which is a, a nice plus. So if I uh, hit play on the Koala Sampler app, get out of the keyboard mode. <laughs> So one of the nice things you can do with that is you can normalize it. And just create different chops and whatnot if you have that need or desire to. So yeah, this is just a, br a uh, brief breakdown of how to use um, Koala Sampler MIDI out to control uh, Ableton Move or any other instrument you may have uh, via Bluetooth. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Peace.